and I reminisce and I imagine that when they bottled that whiskey on that particular day the whiskey captured some of the emotions and feelings of that day and I will reminisce on the past like a little time machine and I tell you what guys it does work whiskey is like a little time machine the more that you drink the more powerful the emotions will feel from that day <laughs> and if you get to the very very bottom of the bottle oh the time machine is so powerful that you will have regressed right back to very early childhood so I see it as quite a romantic drink Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hello, and thank you so much for joining the A Midlife Traveler podcast. We are in the midst of recording a series on Scotland for season one, and in this series we will share Scotland through the voice and the mind of a Scotsman named James. I'm your host, Laura, and these next few episodes are going to explore a great topic, a very popular Scottish product. We're going to be talking about whiskey. Now, Scottish whiskey, and in particular, single malt whiskey, is very famous and very popular worldwide. So today's episode is going to be fun because it's a bit more of a personal story told through the voice and the humor of a Scotsman who truly enjoys his single malt whiskey as he explains his theory of how whiskey is like a little time machine. So through this story, you're going to discover more about bottling dates and how each whiskey bottle is individual due to the bottling dates and how the price of whiskey uh, can often be determined by the bottling date. And there are some people out there that are fanatics who are more interested in paying for a particular date than that particular whiskey in the bottle. This is a field recording. It was taken live during a drive through the Scottish Highlands, so there is a little bit of background noise, but it's a really great perspective and a fun story that I hope you enjoy. So here's James to tell you why whiskey is like a little time machine. I think because because every bottle is individual in terms of its bottling date. So... As I said, if a 10-year if single malt was bottled in the 1960s and it's on the shelf beside another 10-year malt that was bottled in the 1980s, they're both worth the same value. They're both still 10-year single malts. It will not age inside the glass bottle. It'll stay exactly the same. So whenever I open the cap off a bottle of whiskey, I always look at the bottling date. And if it's within my lifetime, I'll go to my drawer and I'll find one of my old journey journals or one of my old diaries and I'll flick back to that date and I'll find out what was going on in my life. Was I in love? Was I out of love? Was I happy? You know, what was going on? And I reminisce and I imagine that when they bottled that whiskey on that particular day, the whiskey captured some of the emotions and feelings of that day and I will reminisce on the past like a little time machine. And I tell you what, guys, it does work. Whiskey is like a little time machine. The more that you drink, the more powerful the emotions will feel from that day. <laughs> and if you get to the very, very bottom of the bottle, oh, the time machine is so powerful that you will have regressed right back to very early childhood. It's absolutely amazing. So I see it as quite a romantic drink. Um, every now and again, guys... You will see, because even for a 50-year bottle of, of single malt, you're, you're going to pay for a 50-year, you're going to pay, you need another mortgage, 20,000 to 35,000 pounds a bottle for a 50-year. But every now and again, you'll see a bottle of 10-year standard going on sale at the market for a quarter of a million. And you'll think, well, why? It's just a 10-year. Because the person who is buying that bottle has absolutely no interest in the whiskey. They are a fanatic about something else. And the bottling date on that whiskey might be when the Red Sox won the World Series. 
or Elvis first got to number one. So they are not paying for the liquid. They are paying for that date. They're a fanatic. They've clearly got too much money. Um, it's because some people get confused about that. They're like, why is that sold for so much money? I said, well, because the bottling date was the day that John Lennon died or the day that you know something specific happened.